Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to hook up your AWX notifications to Mattermost so that you can get alerted on when a job starts, stops, or even fails. Um, this is very useful for when you have to like monitor jobs in a way of like, you know, schedule jobs for like your patching where you want to know that your patching failed so that you can go take a look and see why it failed and fix it, right? Um, as opposed to just letting it fail like for months on months on end, right? So. Anywho, this video is sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content and want to sponsor me or send me some free swag or hardware, let me know. My email is in the description below. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so first thing that we'll do is log into our Mattermost um, server here. Um, we'll create a new channel. So we'll create a new channel. We'll call it AWX, not S, AWX. Um, and then we'll need to go to integrations. So we need to um, integrations. We'll do another incoming webhook. We'll add it. Um, we'll call it AWX here. Go to AWX channel, lock it to this channel, hit save. Okay, so now we've done all the integration part here that we need. Next, we'll go to AWX itself. We'll go un under administration, there is notifications. So what we want to do here is create a notification. We'll call it Mattermost. And then we'll set it to Mattermost also here. Um, the, you could do webhook, um, but they actually do have a Mattermost type, so might as well use it, right? Um, but there's also other options such as email, Grafana, PagerDuty, Rocket Chat, Slack, Twilio. So um, pick your preference. There's actually a few integrations that you can pick. So what we do is select Mattermost here, and we'll copy this uh, webhook URL, paste it in here, and hit save. Then we can test it, so we can hit test. Um, and this will essentially fail um, because the problem here is for my self-hosted instance, I have I hooked it up to my own root CA on dragon.local, so it will actually fail due to the fact that it can't authenticate uh, the SS, it can't verify the SSL because I didn't hook up my root certificate to um, AWX. So what we'll actually do here is actually hit the disable SSL verification here, um, and then we'll save it. Um, so this this only matters if you're doing like self-hosted um, as opposed to doing it um, like in an actual Slack environment that every all the sets are like digital or like let's encrypt um, verified. So, but in this case, because I'm doing a self-hosted CA cert, um, we'll we'll have the fail status. But we can test again now, so it will run. And it should work now because it's not doing the verification check. We can go to our AWX. Now you can see that the notification has been sent. So now we know that our AWX can communicate with our Mattermost server. Now, the next thing is we'll go to templates here. So with notifications, essentially they are, you have to define them for each template. So um, it works great if you're just starting off, you know, from scratch on doing notifications. But if you're like, you know, you have like 200 templates, it's gonna probably be a lot harder. You probably want to do it via like the API to, you know, do it, scale them all through. But in this case, we'll show you how to do it manually in the GUI. So you click on the template that you want to be notified upon, click on notifications, and then you'll see all the notifications types that you've set up. Um, in this case, we only have Mattermost set up. And then you can essentially select, do I want to be notified on a start, on a success, or on a failure. You can do all three, you can just do one of them, you can just do two of them. And essentially that is all you really need to do. You just need to move the slider over to yes or no essentially. So from here, I'll show you what, what happens. So if we launch this template, next cloud, and launch, in this case, because I selected all three, I should get a notification when it starts and whether it succeeds or fails at the very end. So what here you can see is uh, my 20th job that I ran on the server, my setup new server uh, template is running. And now you can see I got the setup new server successfully passed, um, which is great because that's, that's exactly what I want. Um, so that's essentially how you set up a notification for a template. Now you can see how like this is a very generic, you know, notification. If you want to edit how the notifications are worded, um, you can actually go in here and customize messages. So you can actually, you know, specify, hey, I wanted to say this specifically or that specifically. And you can make specific notifications for things 
and whatnot. So this is kind of up to your leisure on how you want to set it up, but by default, it will essentially do the job friendly name, job ID, job name, job status, URL. Um, there might be some more variables that you can reference in the Ansible controller documentation, but we're not going to go over that. Um, so essentially, we'll leave everything as default, but if you did want to customize your message in a different format or a different, more readable way for you, you can. But for the most part, you can get the success, running, and failures now sent from your AWX server to Mattermost. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.